Hey, what's up? I'm going to uh, show you how to include optional text in your pattern. So in my inputs box down here, I have my name Brian and Brian spelt with an I and a Y. So I'm, I'm going to account for both of these using Brian or Brian. And this is a very simple way of doing this. Okay, so I'm using this column character to say Brian with an I or Brian with a Y. And that accounts for both of the words. You can also just uh, encapsulate the letter and say I or Y. Um, I also have my name spelt uh, just Bry down below and I want to account for that. So I'm going to make this an uh, ending, this, this postfix of my name optional. and that's how you do it right there. So open brace, um, the column, and then the closing brace with your text in between. That's That text is optional, but it is not greedy, so it's not going to yield my entire name when it can. It's just going to yield the bry and move on. If you want to do a greedy version of this, simply um, use the question mark character at the end, and that will toggle non-greediness or the greediness of your your group or whatever and you'll notice down below that it, it has yielded my entire name instead of just Bry where it can um, if I add another uh, question mark it will do the same thing as it did before and just yield Bry because it's being uh, non-greedy now so these double question marks is the same thing as doing this because it's simply an optional text that is non-greedy.